wake up. <laughs> I'm not asleep. You all right? No, not really. Here, sip this. What do you reckon they're going to say? I don't know. But whatever they say won't change anything, will it? So, mm. nothing to worry about. I really don't want to go. No, I know you don't. We'll, uh, we'll go see Mrs. Payton and then we'll come back. We want to have the headmistress on our side, don't we? Don't think she'll make me dob, do you? Make you what? Dob, you know, um, tell you who the father is. I don't know. I don't think so. <sighs> you will be there, won't you? I'll be there. You all right, then? No, not really. She's worried about what people will say. Ah. Uh. I've said it's only words. Words can't hurt, can they? Okay. Well, you're not the first young woman to sit there and tell me she's pregnant, and I don't suppose you'll be the last. The school will support whatever position you decide to take. So have you talked it over? Yeah, until the cows come on. And have you decided what you're going to do? Sarah Lou will be having the baby. And the father? Well, that's not an issue because, um, well, we don't want him involved. I see. Can I ask, is this a decision you've reached by yourselves, or have you been involved with any other agency? Well, a social worker's been round, and we're in uh, close contact with our doctor. What about you, Sarah Lou? Do you think you'd like to talk to someone? There's an excellent young women's project I could refer you to. Um, well, if we could just keep it to ourselves. All right. If you change your mind, I'll be happy to set it up for you. Right. The practicalities. The first thing is to notify the rest of the staff. Um, is that necessary? Oh, yes. I'd better make you aware of our position, Mr. Platt. We will support Sarah Louise, but we don't condone what's happened. No, no, of course not. Therefore, we'll set out a discreet program for her benefit. We're not sending out a message that encourages others to follow Sarah Lou's example. The young husky's thick coats protect... And they will treat the matter with complete confidentiality then they can deal with any issues that may arise without calling undue attention to them. I'll also appoint a named woman member of staff who will be Sarah Lou's first point of contact. She'll meet you each week and you can discuss any problems with her, all right? What about your form tutor, Mrs. Bonnich? Good. I'll see her later. So, you seem to be saying that... Uh... Sarah can stay at school. Oh, yes, if that's what she wants, for the time being, anyway. Time being? Well, the later stages will be more problematic. We're not equipped to deal with childbirth here. We're a school, not a maternity unit, and that's how I'm going to keep it. So, um, well, what about later on? Sarah Lou could transfer to a special unit that has facilities for her, or... We could continue to oversee her education, set work for her, and she could be tutored at home. Mm. And when it's all over? She can come back. Now, can I ask if any other children here are aware of the situation? Sarah Lou's friend, Candy Stowe. I see. You realise that there'll be a lot of gossip, don't you? It'll die down eventually, but you'll... Need to be ready for it. Are you? Yeah. Good. Well, that's stage one over. Wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> I think you should return to school as soon as possible, Sarah Louise. There's no point in putting it off. What do you say? Thank goodness that's over. Mrs. Bonnet, she's very nice. Mm. Good idea, that, don't you think? Yeah, I thought so, yeah. All right. Come on. Off we go, then. Or is 
食冇咩？我爸。Martin, please. I've been trying to get you all morning. You've not been in. Oh, don't worry, Audrey. We've not been sully in the name of Councillor Audrey Roberts. Would you just stop it, please? I am so sorry, sweetheart. No, I didn't mean any of those things I said. You know that, don't you? Well, you seemed fairly sure of them the other night. Well, I was shocked. Okay. Can we make up properly, please? Can I come in? Come on, Mum. They're only words. They don't mean anything, remember? Okay. I'll just go and sort out Mrs Woodruff from under the dryer. For two minutes, all right? Well done, Sarah. That was really nice. Talk about how the man's are children, eh? Huh? What do you want for your tea? A steak with all the trimmings, love. Oh, is that cord for fish fingers? Because that's all I've got. No worries, no worries. I've got a horse sorted. Isn't that right? So you say. You know, I've got a real good feeling about it. Why don't I put a few bob on for you as well? Because I don't want to abuse my mystic powers. Oh, well, I hope you don't mind if I do. Hey, <laughs> I'll see you later, love. Why are you going? No, you are. Sit down. No, well, it sounds like they wanted to be helpful. Within reason. How do you mean? Well, they made it clear they didn't condone the circumstances. No, well, I don't suppose they do, but... Uh, well, these things happen, you just have to get on with life. Oh, you've changed your tune. Yes, I'm well aware of that, Martin. <sighs> Look, I know I said some terrible things. <sighs> well, it's probably my age. My brain doesn't seem to take in things like it used to, but... I was wrong, OK? I was very, very wrong, and I'm sorry. Please, I just want you to know that I will always be there for you all. Especially you, my darling. Sarah? Oh, lovely, what's up? Remnants. What do you mean? They blank me. <laughs> no one's ever going to talk to me again. <laughs> What did I say? Nothing. Well, the teachers were OK with her this morning. But the kids were a bit funny. Not nice funny. Sniggering behind her back. 